put your phone down for just a second and look around. Look to the people around you. The people that you spend time with are gonna make or break your dream. Everybody don't deserve to be around you. He is one of the biggest blockbuster movie stars in Hollywood history. He is also a pioneering hip hop artist and television actor. His dominance on the global stage has spanned nearly three decades as he continues to be a force in the world of entertainment. In recent years, Will Smith has become a source of inspiration and motivation for millions around the globe, posting words of wisdom and awe-inspiring videos on social media. We tend to base our self-esteem on what other people think. Other people's opinions is a really way to determine how we feel about ourselves. Many may be familiar with his success, but what did it take for Will to become the man he is today? How did he go from humble beginnings to the most powerful actor in Hollywood? Born on September 25, 1968 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to Caroline and Willard Smith, a young Will would grow up in a very disciplined household that valued hard work and excellence. His mother Caroline was a school board administrator. His father, Will Sr., was an Air Force veteran and engineer. From an early age, Will and his siblings would learn the importance of hard work from assisting their father with his business. Despite his family's blue-collar background, Will became intrigued by the Philly hip-hop scene. At the age of 17, he met a DJ and producer by the name of DJ Jazzy Jeff at a house party in Will's neighborhood. By happenstance, Jazzy Jeff's hype man for the party was running late, and the young DJ needed someone to fill in. Eager for the opportunity to jump into the spotlight, Will would hop on the mic and hype up the restless crowd with fun party rhymes while Jazzy Jeff spent the records. The crowd loved it, and the pair immediately realized they had a special chemistry. By the time the actual hype man showed up, neither Jazzy Jeff nor the audience wanted Will to stop rapping. Shortly thereafter, Will and Jazzy Jeff decided to make their collaboration official now going by the rap moniker, The Fresh Prince, Will will recruit his friend, Reddy Rock C, to come on board as beatboxer. Together, they would start to produce records to try and build a buzz. The group would strike a single deal with a Philly-based record label named Word Up Records, and in 1985, they released their first single, Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble. Will was a good student in school, and even scored high enough on his SAT exam to get into practically any college or university. While in high school, he was accepted into a pre-engineering summer program at MIT. But he had already made up his mind about the career path he wanted, and ultimately decided not to go, nor did he intend to go to college. By the time Will graduated high school, he was well on his way to rap superstardom. The success of their breakout single caught the attention of Jive Records, and in 1987, the label would release the debut album of DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, titled Rock the House. The album would achieve modest success. The duo's biggest success at the time would come the following year with the release of He's the DJ, I'm the Rapper. The album would feature breakout cuts such as Brand New Funk, a Nightmare on My Street, and the wildly successful single, Parents Just Don't Understand. The song peaked at number 12 on the Billboard Pop Charts, and in 1989, made The Fresh Prince and DJ Jazzy Jeff the first hip-hop act in history to win the Grammy for Best Rap Performance for the song. However, the duo would join fellow members of the hip-hop community in boycotting the Grammys for not televising the rap category. Riding high off of his quick success and the seemingly never-ending flow of income, 
Will would spend the money he earned like there was no tomorrow. He purchased a luxurious fleet of cars and motorcycles and spent an excessive amount of money on Gucci apparel. Soon he would come to realize how quickly the money and success could all be gone in an instant. In October of 1989, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince would release their third album titled, and in this corner, to dismal reviews and underwhelming record sales. To make matters worse, the IRS found that Will owed $2.8 million in back taxes, leading the government to repossess much of his property and garnish his income. Will would later recall how it felt being a famous Grammy Award winning artist with millions of records sold but having to ride the bus because he did not have money for a car. Little did he know that a chance meeting at a taping of the Arsenio Hall show in 1989 would be just the break he needed to turn his fortunes around forever. At the show, Will would bump into Benny Medina, who was the vice president of artists and repertoire at Warner Brothers Records. There, Medina pitched Will a sitcom that he had been developing with legendary music producer Quincy Jones. The show would be loosely based on Medina's real life experience of being a young African American teenager who was forced to move from the hood to live with relatives in the wealthy and bougie Los Angeles neighborhood of Bel Air. After auditioning on the spot for Quincy Jones and NBC executives, Will, who had never acted before outside of his music videos, was immediately offered the role. The show would now be called The Fresh Prince of Bel Air and would air in prime time on NBC. In September of 1990, the first episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel Air made its television debut. Will would perform the show's theme music, which was also produced by Quincy Jones. The show was a smash hit in prime time and instantly put Will Smith on the map as a skilled and charismatic actor. Upon experiencing new success in the acting space, Will had a new goal he desperately wanted to pursue. He made up his mind that he would become, quote, the biggest movie star in the world. Still fresh off the success of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Will would jump back in the studio with DJ Jazzy Jeff, who also had a recurring role on the sitcom, to get to work on the duo's fourth album. On July 23, 1991, the pair would release their comeback album titled Home Bass. The album rendered DJ Jazzy Jeff and The Fresh Prince their most successful single to date, titled Summertime. The song reached number four on the pop charts and would earn the group their second Grammy Award. The album became certified platinum and brought the hip hop duo back to mainstream prominence as a recording act. With this career and finances now back on track, Will decided it was time to try and be successful in his personal life. In 1992, Will would marry Cherie Zampino. In November of that year, Cherie would give birth to their son, Trey. Now with his eyes set on success on the big screen, Will would make his major role debut in the 1993 drama, Six Degrees of Separation. Commercially, the movie was a failure, but it helped to solidify Will Smith's bona fides as a serious actor. That same year, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince would release their fifth and final album titled Cold Red putting a cap on the duo's history-making musical run. The following year, Will would be cast to star alongside another person with a highly successful sitcom, Martin Lawrence, in the action comedy film titled Bad Boys. The chemistry between Will and Martin Lawrence jumped off the screen, and in 1995, the film would go on to gross over $140 million worldwide. It seemed as though Will was now well on his way to reaching his goal of becoming a box office draw. However, Will would find more success in his professional life than he would in his personal. In 1995, he and his wife of three years, Cherie, would divorce. Despite the personal setback, Will would persist on his mission to become the biggest movie star ever. 
In May of 1996, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air would air its final episode on NBC, marking the end of the sitcom that put Will on the map as an actor. It also marked the beginning of Will as a major force in Hollywood. In July of that year, he would be selected to be a part of an all-star cast for the film Independence Day. Will's breakout performance earned him high praise and the film itself went on to be a groundbreaking blockbuster. Independence Day would go on to gross over $817 million at the box office worldwide, making it the highest grossing film of 1996. That same year, Will would begin filming for the Steven Spielberg produced movie Men in Black, in which he would be cast alongside legendary actor Tommy Lee Jones. For his part in the film, Will was tapped to record the theme song for the movie. The song, titled after the film, was produced by hip-hop supergroup Trackmasters. This would be Will's first venture as a solo artist since his final album as Fresh Prince with DJ Jazzy Jeff. On July 2nd, 1997, exactly one year to the date of the release of Independence Day, Men in Black would be released in theaters. The film would garner similar acclaim and was a blockbuster smash, grossing nearly $600 million worldwide, making it the third most successful movie of 1997. With this string of highly successful films, it would seem as though Will had reached his goal of becoming the biggest movie star in the world. Ever ambitious, Will had some unfinished business to tend to in both his personal life and in his music career. In 1997, Will married actress Jada Pinkett. The two had met earlier in the decade when Will attended the live taping of the sitcom A Different World, on which Jada had a starring role. There was an instant chemistry between the pair. However, the day Will intended to ask Jada out on a date, he met Cherie Zampino, who would later become his wife. Will realized he was in love with Jada Pinkett the whole time, which is part of why his marriage to Cherie failed. After the divorce was final, Will asked Jada Pinkett to be his girlfriend, and later he asked her to be his wife. With his love life now in order, and his movie career on the rise, there was one thing Will had left to prove, that he could be a successful solo recording artist. Dropping the name Fresh Prince, and now going by his real name, Will Smith would release his debut solo album titled Big Willie Style on November 25th of 1997. The album featured the hit single Men in Black, which was also on the soundtrack of the movie. The album also featured a heartfelt ode to his firstborn, Trey, titled Just the Two of Us, and a hit party anthem titled Miami. But the breakout record was the Trackmasters produced single, Getting Jiggy With It. The song became a huge crossover hit, reaching number one on the pop charts. The first number one record in Will Smith's career. The track would go on to win Will his first Grammy as a solo artist the following year. Big Willie Style would eventually be certified nine times platinum, making it one of the biggest selling hip hop albums of the decade. Now a certified superstar, Will Smith was on a roll. In 1998, he starred alongside Gene Hackman in the film Enemy of the State. The movie was a critical and commercial success, solidifying the former Fresh Prince as the heir apparent king of Hollywood. However, this did not mean that he would not stumble on his way to receiving the crown. The first big mistake in his newfound superstardom came when Will would turn down the opportunity to star as the lead character Neo in the sci-fi action film The Matrix. The role would end up going to Keanu Reeves. Instead, Will placed his bet on the big budget western action comedy titled Wild Wild West. Released in 1999, the film was a catastrophic failure grossing only $222 million against a $170 million budget. The film broke even, but was slammed by critics and moviegoers. 
failure is a massive part of being able to be successful. You have to get comfortable with failure. Successful people fail a lot. They fail a whole lot more than they succeed, but they extract the lessons from the failure and they use that the, the energy and they use the wisdom to come around to the next phase of success. Fortunately for Will, his performance of the title song for the movie soundtrack was much more well received than his performance in the actual film. The Stevie Wonder sampled song, which featured R&B group Drew Hill and legendary rapper Kool Mo D, soared to the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100, setting up Will for his next solo release. In November of 1999, Will put out his sophomore album, Willennium. The album was yet another commercially successful musical voyage for the Hollywood movie star, reaching number five on the pop charts and going on to sell two million units. Will would now set his sights away from the action-packed films he was becoming accustomed to in order to show his range as an actor. In 2001, Will would portray iconic heavyweight boxer Muhammad Ali in the biopic Ali. While the film was not a commercial success, it would win him praise from critics for his riveting performance as the legendary boxer. After solidifying his acting chops playing Muhammad Ali, Will would return to his own fight to become the undisputed king of the box office. He jumped right back to box office domination with the release of Men in Black 2, which grossed $441 million worldwide. The following year, he returned with another sequel, this time Bad Boys 2, once again with Martin Lawrence. The movie grossed over $270 million worldwide. This would be followed by a slew of films starring Will that all consecutively debuted at number one and reached over $100 million or more at the box office. His biggest film up to that point came in 2008 when Will starred in the superhero movie Hancock, which grossed $624 million worldwide. Will's success extended beyond the big screen and pop charts. His family would expand after Jada Pinkett Smith gave birth to his son Jaden in 1998 and daughter Willow in 2000. In subsequent years, Will's children would follow their parents' footsteps into the spotlight. In 2006, Jaden Smith would co-star alongside his father in the movie Pursuit of Happiness. In 2010, Willow Smith signed to Jay-Z's Rock Nation management company and released a hit single, With My Hair, which reached the top 20 on the pop charts and sold 1.2 million digital copies. Will and Jada Pinkett would executive produce sitcoms and films together, including 2010's remake of The Karate Kid, which starred their son Jaden, and the 2013 film After Earth, which also starred Jaden and his father Will. In 2009, Will and Jada would have the honor to sit down and interview President Barack Obama after he received the Nobel Peace Prize. Always willing to evolve with the times, Will recognized the power of digital media as the perfect platform to connect directly with the people. In 2017, he would become very active on social media, posting entertaining and inspirational videos, giving the world insight into how he thinks and dropping gems of knowledge. He would launch his official YouTube channel, through which his videos have received a total of 163 million views. After more than 30 years in the business, Will continues to push the boundaries. In 2017, he starred in the Netflix original film, Bright, which had the biggest budget for any Netflix film ever. This was a major play for both Netflix and Will Smith to get in front of the reality that streaming is becoming the dominant way many consumers watch films. Even in his 50s, Will continues to be a force musically. In 2018, he performed the official theme song for the FIFA World Cup in Moscow, proving that he still has the chops as a performer to light up the global stage. With a number of major projects in the works, 
there's no doubt that Will's reign at the top will continue. Will Smith is truly a global brand. He went from rapper to actor to Hollywood powerhouse with precision, intention, and audacity. Altogether, his films have grossed nearly $8 billion internationally. As an artist, he has sold well over 20 million records in his career. However, his biggest success may be that, through it all, he has remained a family man and has used his platform to inspire change and challenge the status quo. His ability to create, evolve, and inspire has solidified Will Smith as one of the greatest figures in entertainment history.